What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Jack Bartel here today. And, uh, of course, Super, two, the, uh, Super Tuesday number two didn't go out so well. So, the, so 20... But there's still some good news. 20, there are 24, and 20, 24 or 25 primaries and caucuses down. And only 30, 32 or 33 left to go. Reason I say or is because I don't know if the Democrats abroad one is finished or not. Update me if it is, and uh, if it is, update me and tell me who won. Tell me one in the comments comment section below. Right now we're gonna. Right now. Right now we're gonna go over the. Go over the section. You know, go over. You know, go over what have a super super Tuesday. As you can see, Biden's in the lead. Lead after that is in the lead, but is in the lead with 864, and Bernie Sanders is Bernie Sanders is behind with 7 with 710. So let's see. That means he's behind by 154 points, and in order to get catch up, he would need 150 in order to take the lead. He would not Biden would not can't would have to have zero delegates, and he would need 155. Or Biden, something up, something has to buy. After all, he is something. Something happens to Biden, like a medical medical issue, a severe medical issue, like uh, forcing to drop out. Don't get me wrong. I used. Don't get me wrong. I used to like the guy, but after looking at his past record, not anymore. Not anymore. What has become of America today? It's like the DNC doesn't care doesn't care about who which candidate which candidate get doesn't care about the candidate except in this except in both the 2016 and 2020 race. Seems like they're using all their influence and all their power to make sure Bernie Sanders doesn't win the primaries. I think because they know he would be because they know I bet they probably know he would be tr he would be Trump and be and beat the and be the next president of the of, of the United States. And that's. But that's not the worst part for them. They probably lose the, lose all their lose all their money money. Because after all, after all, there is evidence that they actually they actually tampered tampered with the primaries. Let me get let me get the uh, let me get a setup for you. P P P P P P P. Now, just just for this might be just for laughs, <laughs> but after that, it, it it'll get it'll get serious. Go from laughing to serious. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P Bernie won both. 55,000 and more Washington state ballots were rejected. The DNC forces out Pete, Amy, and Bloomberg. The courts rule the DNC is a private organization with no legal obligation to follow the will of voters. Massachusetts had Bernie up by 8% in election day exit polls. An exit poll is the most accurate of any poll type. You get the actual results cast in this. See? I don't know if you can see it. Oops. I don't know if you can see it.
let's but let me zoom in just in case. There we go. See? And Washington State is still counting. It still hasn't been counted yet. It's see, I'm almost starting I'm almost starting to think do you think all this is do you think all this here is a coincidence? Or do you really think they're trying to rig or do you really think the DNC hasn't learned their lesson from 2016 and is trying to rig it again? Leave your, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. But I'm good. But I know we're gonna have to keep. But I know we're gonna have to keep the strategy secret. Whatever strategy I'm gonna share with you, share with you about how Bernie can win, we're gonna have to keep it secret, and make sure the DNC doesn't find out find out about it. Because if they do, they'll they will try to make a counter strategy for it. If if all this is true. Also, if you have evidence to back this up, if you have physical evidence that proves that they did that they did all this. Present it to the local. Present it to your local authorities, because that's a. Tr those are. Because that's, because the DN because the DNC is was committing voter fraud and voter 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 suppression, which is illegal, and if the bite and if the Biden campaign had any hand in this, intentionally or not. Present it the author present it to the authorities as well. Because that will also help. That could also help Bernie win. I mean, by exposing, by exposing what, with all the, by exposing the can, by exposing a criminal, criminal within the, criminal within the candidacy. But anyway, let's get, let's let's get to the strategy here. Okay, this is the result. These are the results so far. And for the record, this is the 20 this is the, this is the actual, this is the presidential election interactive map. I don't have I couldn't I cannot find a I cannot find a primary map. So this is going to have to do. So imagine this, this blue right here is Sanders and this here and this blue and this Republican here as by Bi as Biden. Okay. So let's get, so let's do, so let's focus, let's see what we get. Now let's see, now if we could focus on the states that have, have the most delegates, like they, like probably, like probably these, I, I'm, I think, because I don't, because I'm just going off theory here. If Bernie, Bernie wins Washington, that'll be another. Then if we can win Arizona. But call from McNiff. This is the current map. These are the that's that's the, these are the two maps combined. Oops, and this and this is the actual map. This is the map from you know back from 2016. Green is Bernie, blue is Clinton. Let's see. We can also win Oregon, Montana. Wyoming. This one, Rhode Island. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, that could get, that could get them close, if we could do, if we could win these, if we could win these states, that could, that could get us close, and here's a bow, that could get us close, 
and just this is theory anyway since I don't have an actual un I don't have a pr primary ma map I, also, I forgot to add Alaska and Hawaii too so let's see then we should try and do New Jersey we should try and focus on New Jersey M Maryland Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, Illinois, Georgia, Florida, and if Biden only wins these these three these states, I think we got a guarantee. We have a guarantee. Oh, oh, almost forgot these. And if Biden only wins these three, that that's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. We could, we still have a chance to turn it around. We still have a chance to turn it around, and win it in, and win it in Bernie's favor. Favor, but like I said, this is not. But like I said, this is not a. You know. But like I said, this is not a. You know. Then anyway, okay. There we go. Now, now, now the one thing I do fear is because um how much how much Biden Biden resembles Trump Trump. If he if Biden does win the Democrat Democratic primary because of because of the DNC rigging, which we don't have which we don't have evidence for yet, but we're gonna but we're gonna try and find it. But we're gonna try and find it. But anyway, but anyway, my fear, my fear is this: if we, it could be a re, this, it could be a repeat. It could be a repeat of what happened in 2016 again, again. And this is from a. It could be, so. So we have it. So, if you're what? For those who haven't voted yet, you have a choice. Either we choose, either we choose Bernie, or we go. And that mean, and we choose Bernie, and, we, and that means it ended, and that means America moves forward, and 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 he'll work hard to work, and he'll work hard to end corruption. Or, or, and work hard to end corruption and and make elections like the fair and square, and all etc., like all that stuff. And it, or, we go with the, or, we or but or Bernie or Bernie gets kept, loses and then, and then we got a re, repeat and then we got a wor worse situation than we than when Hillary than it was Hillary versus Cl Clinton. I mean Hillary. Hillary versus Trump. Sorry. It could be. It could either go. It could either go like this. Either, either Trump win. Trump win. Wins if we got four more years of him. And I don't think he'll do something stupid, stupid like try to remove the turn limits for for the president, because that that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back for for all of us here. No one, no one should be appointed for life. That's something Washington, George Washington warned us. That's why, he, that's why he stepped down. Because if he died in office, that would have made it, that would have made it so, it would have been a sign that presidents are lifetime appointees. Which they're, and they're not. This is a democracy, not an oligarchy, not a plutocracy, not, not, ex not anything, not anything to do with Anything except democracies for the for the people. Anyway, back. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. Anyway, back to this. Or, or Biden, or Biden pulls off pulls off the pulls off and pulls off a win and win and wins and wins the presidential election. But here's the difference: Trump will be out of office, but he'll be re, but he'll be replacing one Trump with another, which will be Biden, 
which would be Biden. And if you don't know what I'm talking and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Below that, that'll explain. That'll explain it. How? That'll explain it. Link or links? Because when I looked at his record, oh boy, oh boy, you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine how much similar, how similar he was. To tr he was a Trump. He's an old school because Biden's an old school of. Old school Democrat, just an old school Democrat, and he's just, and a conservative at best. So it'd be just conservative against conservative. And that's something, and we need progressives, not conservatives. That's why we need. That's why we need need people like Bernie. More people like more people like Bernie actually to run for uh, run for office in case the worst happens. Run for run for every political office in the United States if you have to. To we need more more Ber more people like Bernie Bernie because if we can because if we can fix the system then we can then it'll be end to the end to election rigging. And I know I want to be. One, I want to be one of those to involved too. Even though, even though I do, yes, I I have high functioning autism, but I'm gonna also, I'm also doing it to prove that people like me can achieve anything if we put our mind, heart, and soul into it. But that's a, but that's, but that's all for right now. But that's all for now. So. So keep that. So keep what I said in mind, seriously in mind. Oh, and don't. Oh, and don't forget that a debate's coming up this Sunday. This Sunday, uh, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Oh, and just a heads up. Oh, and just a little word for thought. Ber Bernie was the favorite among. Bernie was the favorite among the entire world in 2016. The P. Bernie, the people's president, the people's choice, the man, the man we, a man the, the world needs, a man that America needs. I got those backwards. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But anyway, thank, thanks for watching. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below and help the, and to share, and share this video with as many people as you can. Mainly, mainly those for mainly those who work in the Bernie, mainly those Bernie supporters, those mo most loyal to Bernie, actually, because we can't we can't even let a flicker of this flicker of this of the strategy strategy come out come out, get leaked to the DNC. Otherwise, like I said before, they'll get, they'll come up with a strict counter strategy. And if you don't like, and if this strategy isn't good isn't good and I'll probably fail, then I'm all ears I'm all ears for what your strategy is. Also I'll be posting another strategy strategy in, in the end screen in the end screen annotation. So as you see. So thank so thanks for watching. And until and until next time and until next time this is Jerry Bart this is Jeff Bartos saying <clears throat> good luck, good luck, Bernie Sanders. And may the burn, and may the, and may God, make may God be with you, and help, and help you, and help you win this time. Also, also, to all those Bernie crats out there, remember this. <clears throat> The burn, the burn will be with you always.